Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kauf and I'm the Nerd on the Street, and today we are taking a look at how to install Android Studio on Ubuntu. So I mentioned in a video last year that I was installing Android Studio on my Fedora laptop at the time because of a robotics event, which I was not allowed to talk about. If you went and followed that robotics event, it was the first tech challenge. Um, this year's first tech challenge in the FTC is a robotics competition. This year, the control system has been moved over to an Android-based system. As you know, I'm in my school's robotics club. I'm actually president of the club this year. And a big part of building the robots and making the robots work is programming them. So this year, the programming for that robotics competition, the programming for the first tech challenge, is being done in Android. So teams have two options of what they can use. They can either use Android Studio or they can use MIT App Inventor. Last year at that event, I learned how to use Android Studio, so that's what I'm having my team use this year. So yeah, if you remember from that other video, at the time I made that video, I had Antergos installed on my laptop, but I installed Fedora because it's really easy to install Android Studio on Fedora with just an RPM package. Well, not everyone on the robotics team is exactly well-versed in Linux, so we needed to be using a Linux distribution that is easy to use and they won't mess up and for that I chose Ubuntu Mate and I use the Mate spin because we are using the crappy school laptops for robotics as usual however now that we finally don't have Windows and all of the school bloatware on there now that we finally just have plain old Linux on there Hopefully they'll run a little better. So yeah, for ease of use, we went with Ubuntu Mate, and I needed to be able to install Android Studio on there. So I went to the Android Studio website, and I started following the instructions for installing on Linux, but then I remembered, Ubuntu has a new project called Ubuntu Make. It used to be called Ubuntu Studio or Creator Studio or something. Basically, it is a tool that makes it very easy to set up development environments under Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you right now how with just two commands, well I'm going to use a little more than two commands, but the minimum required is two commands, and I'm going to show you how with those simple commands you can install Java, install the, you know, the JDK, and install Android Studio and get it all set up to work how you need it to. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera off, I'm going to turn the capture card on, and we are going to start this video. So here we are on the desktop. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to open up a terminal, if I can find it, here we go. And before I do anything else, I'm going to use sudo apt-get update. And after I do that, I'm going to use apt-get upgrade. I think it's always a good idea to make sure your packages are up to date before you install any new packages. Here we go, sudo apt-get upgrade. See if we have anything. Just a few packages. I think I updated everything yesterday or a couple days ago. I think it was Thursday. So yeah, we'll just wait for that to go. All right, so now the command we are going to use is sudo apt-get install ubuntu-make. And that is the package that will set everything up for us. So we need to install it first. It will install some other things with it. Looks like it's written in Python. All right, that was nice and quick. And next, we will use the command umake studio. So umake stands for Ubuntu Make, which is the name of this you know, tool that we're using. And studio is what you type in to signal that you want to install Android Studio. So we will press enter and check this out. This is awesome. Um, right. Invalid choice studio. Oh, sorry. It's one command. I had one job and I messed it up. All right, let's try this again. We're going to type in you make Android. I cannot believe that. This entire video is about how you can do this with one command and I typed in the wrong command. All right, so um, on the other laptop, we've got two of these laptops. On the other one, I think I just accepted all the default settings and I want them to be pretty much the same. So we'll accept that. All right, so now um, Ubuntu is not allowed to include Android Studio in its repositories. The reason you can't just get Android Studio from the Ubuntu Software Center is because of this license agreement. However, this tool, uh, the reason why they're able to use this tool to uh, download Android Studio for you is because it displays the license agreement. So we'll go ahead and accept the license agreement. So now we will download 
and install requirements, and I believe that includes the Java development kit, because I don't think I've got Java on here yet. While we're waiting here, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 12 hour time. There we go. So this really is an example of why Linux is the best operating system for developing software. Um, I actually I was trying to get this running on Windows on this laptop for hours and there were just there were some gradle errors I was getting that I could not track down why they were happening and there's a good chance that some of those problems were caused by school software that was installed on this um, not by Windows itself but now that we've just got a clean Linux installation on here it really is a lot more professional it's a lot faster and it's going to be a whole lot easier as you're about to see to get Android Studio up and running. As you can see we are done downloading and we are now installing Android Studio and installation done and that is everything we needed to do. We've got the JDK installed now as you can see if I type Java dash version um, alright well that says open JDK runtime environment did we not need to get Java ourselves? No according to my notes from when I did this on the other laptop should not have to do anything with Java. So maybe the JDK is installed and it's just not set as our default. Actually, open JDK. Yeah, this is JDK. It's just not Oracle Java, but that should work. Sorry if I'm confusing you. I'm saying a bunch of stuff that I don't need to be saying. But now if we go into our applications menu, uh, it has not showed up yet. So that's fine. But if we just, let's see, if we edit menu, and go to the programming section and then close the menu that just kinda reminds the computer hey you just installed this so you might have to go and edit the menu and just close it but as you can see Android Studio is now added to our menu and this is another great feature of um, Ubuntu make is if you just installed this yourself then you'd have to navigate to the directory you installed it to manually and launch it manually in the terminal every time you wanted to use it. Of course you could add it to the menu manually too if you wanted to, but Ubuntu Make just adds it to the menu for you. Just makes it nice and easy. So now we can open up Ubuntu Studio and it will take a, a little bit because this laptop is pretty low end, but do not have a previous version of Studio. But yeah, this has just been running flawlessly. I was playing around with it on the other laptop and uh, I wasn't sure about installing Linux on these to put Android Studio on, but really after I was playing around with it, everything is just working flawlessly. And um, hey, you know, we're a robotics team, and if we need Linux to make our robots work, then I think that it's justified to use it. All right, setup wizard. Um, OpenJDK shows intermittent performance and UI issues. We recommend using the Oracle JDK. Yeah, I really thought that that Ubuntu Make uh, tool would have downloaded Oracle's Java. I, For some reason, I really thought that that's how that worked. I'll have to check the other laptop, and um, I'll have to see if the other laptop also is on JDK, or open JDK, or if the other laptop actually has Oracle Java installed. But um, I'm pretty sure that I did not install Oracle Java manually on the other laptop. I'm going to just check something real quick. See, you can get um, an RPM file for Linux, but you can't get a deb file. You can only get like a tarball or something. Get out of here, Firefox. Yeah, we can get RPM or we can get a tarball, or we can get a, a Windows executable, or we can get a Mac DMG file, but we cannot get a deb file for Java. I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, I'll check on the other laptop, like I said, but Honestly, OpenJDK should be fine. I've never, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had any problems using OpenJDK versus Oracle slash Sun Java. So we want standard setup, standard all of that, and finish. So now we're going to download the Android SDK, or at least the versions that we're downloading by default for that standard setup. And I clicked show details, it's not showing the details just yet. There we go. So now we can see exactly what files we're downloading and where they're coming from. Okay, so our SDK is up to date, and we'll click Finish. And now we have Android Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video at this point, because that's probably all that you wanted to see if you're an Android developer. 
I personally have some more work to do. I've got to go and download some more SDKs for the FTC. However, that is pretty much what this tutorial was about, was installing Android Studio on Ubuntu. So you can see there how easy Ubuntu makes it with that Ubuntu Make tool. Without that Ubuntu Make tool, it would have been a pain. I would have had to download several tarballs. I would have had to, you know, extract things myself and add things to the path environment variable myself and do all kinds of stuff. But Ubuntu Make just did it all for me with one command. Um, I had to use one command to install Ubuntu Make, and then once it was installed, one command to install Android Studio. So yeah, that is absolutely great. I know the licensing issues are a touchy subject for a lot of people, so I won't say anything about those. But yeah, um, that is how you can easily install Android Studio on Ubuntu. I hope that this video helped you out if you're thinking about using Ubuntu as a an Android development environment then it's definitely a great idea to do so. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns or just anything, suggestions, over at our forums at nerdonthestreet.com. But for now, that's everything. So I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the Nerd on the Street, and I will see you guys later. Bye.